Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Inkbound. We're resuming our Weaver run where we've got Rope Burn, so we're going to finish a run with that. Uh, we've done Act 1 of Julius and Romeo, so now we're looking for Shadow Quills to defeat and um, we also kind of need to get Spike, but I don't think we're going to do that this run. Hello there, Needless. Hi, Foundation of Runstone has shifted. A feat performed by a shadow haunting it, no doubt. I hope your attempt at ousting it didn't elicit too much pain. Yes, it seems like you could have used a hand. Please, Bin, spare us. All right, I just want to make sure that the needless comes out ahead. Yeah, painful jokes. I'm all for them. So, what do we want to burn? We could burn the stroke of genius. That seems like a sensible one. Uh, we don't really need the Verdant Seed anymore because we should be healing every time we detach threads. So we can clear up two bits of space. I'm going to keep that token of regret though. The rest of it is all, all really useful. I wonder which of these is going to be most useful for the story fragments. Can we find out which story fragments we haven't got yet? None of those. Garden's Edge, that's the one we need. So, I guess that means we're going to the Garden's Edge. I do like that there's lots of different quests that you can pull apart and do some of here, some of there, all over the place. Uh, ooh, I think Superior Vault and Big Cash. That's where most of the interest lies for us. may have spaced out a bit, but not far enough to avoid the poison. Poison and dazed. Get a thread on you. Get a thread on you. Get a thread on these two together. So with controlled weaving. Rope burn on top. Probably should have stitched first, actually. One of them gone. We're going to take a bit of damage. But it's not much. And we should heal it up quite quickly. Wow, at the moment we're going to take 38 damage. We need to lower that quite significantly. So threads on you. Threads on you. Threads down here. That gives us controlled weaving. I wish I was a little bit closer. I really do. But this is the sensible choice. So do it like that. We could do a rope burn to get some fire on them. We can get some more poison out. Or we can thread them up again. Can't quite jinx them both, but I can hit you with a really significant smack. Or we could get more poison out. not going to do enough hitting twice. So if we move out of the area, we're still going to take 16 damage. I wish I knew which damage was coming from which of these. Killing Chompy does make a lot of sense. I just wish I could hit 
both of these at the same time with it. How much damage is this going to do? 95. So hitting him twice is not going to be enough. Okay. That tells me what I need to know. Let's, um, let's jinx him. It means we are going to take 10 damage. We'll drink a potion. So poison on everyone. Hit you two. Hit you. Hit you. Hit you. Stitch on these. Broke burn. He's gonna die because of the poison. I think he's going to die because of the poison as well. But I'd really like it if we weren't going to take any damage from him. Well, it is what it is, unfortunately. I, ah, you know, I should have, um, should have attacked that guy. Little bit of damage, but we did heal up one at the end. So give me all that money. And let's see what we've got in here. Hmm. Boiling muck. Marbled cuffs are kind of interesting. Having guaranteed shielding could be could be good for us, except the token of regret, uh, regret is reducing our standard shielding. Let's re-roll them. Pile of tiles. Pile of tiles is just such an awesome thing. There is no reason not to have it. Okay. Do we need to go to the gardener? I don't think so. So maybe, maybe just the sea breach at this point. Binding augments are lovely, but the sea breach could be a lot more powerful. Okay. A quill lights the darkness of the Sea of Ink and the scattered stories within it. The quill zips between the stories looking for its binder counterpart, but the zipping becomes a crawl and the little light shows signs of discouragement. Perhaps some reminder of their binder could help them rediscover their drive. Gaining a random ascension is fine, but losing a will reserve is pretty, pretty stonking. I think we can probably get away with it though. So that has ascended our thread into tether. On detaching a thread gain 50 omni damage until the end of turn. Ooh, that works really well with rope burn. Oh, that's that's lovely. Hello. The nearby sea breach juts through the ground, exposing the sea of ink between crags of un. The centre of the exposed sea provides access to an almost forgotten story. Your abilities as a binder and your bond with your quill allow you to temporarily anchor these stories adrift in the sea. Sadly, not enough of these stories remain to ever anchor them again entirely. Hmm. Okay, a superior vault and a rare augment. I like the sound of that. So the despair is going to reduce our will when we actually get into the, uh, the combat. Let's get ourselves a fresh potion. And starting off with poison. Poison and dazed on everyone. It's it's a really solid start. So smack smack. 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 We could have done that a bit more efficiently, I reckon. And then we're gonna want to stitch, but we're not gonna want to untether them just yet.
and I think we get out of that that zone of death. Now untethering also counts as um, defeating the mobs, which is very interesting. Like, I wonder if it's better, therefore, to hit those two. Oh, it didn't, actually. Hmm. Curious. Okay, if we were to do a stitch, that's going to hit those two, which is fine. Rope burn would improve our uh, damage by a hundred percent. If we come over here, we can hit both of them. Twice. Yeah. I do feel like it's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but that's fine. Like, right now it might be better to just do the rope burn to get the plus 150% damage. And I think I was right in my assessment there. Yeah, he's going to do nothing. Okay, Ascending Poison Vapor. Ooh. So we know that this is going to affect everyone. So 27 damage to a single enemy, inflict 30 stacks of poison, double their stacks of poison. Ooh, that's very nice. We'll go for Poison Dart because we haven't tried it, and also with our Augment. It's going to be effective. Oh yeah. Okay. What do we want? Critical Jinx? Prepared Stitch? Stitch is very nice, having no cost on it. <gasps> on defeating a threaded enemy, thread the nearest non-threaded enemy. We're not really going to be defeating threaded enemies with rope burn though, because it doesn't do enough damage. We do have plenty of glyphs. Let's re-roll. Each thread attached to you grants shielding. That's nice. Noxious vapor. That would improve the damage quite significantly, but most of the damage comes from the poison stacks. So let's re-roll. Extra stacks of poison on critting and inflict extra stacks of poison. Uh, yes. Yes, please. Shadow Shroud would give us another enchanted. So that would really lean into the extra magical damage. I like that. Okay, what have we got? Carver's Refuge, Sea Breach, or more Binding Empowerments? Let's, uh, let's go for the Binding Empowerments. We do need to find the Vestigial Shrine here. But uh, for the moment, we can keep moving on as we have been. So of these, extra stacks of poison is pretty good. So that's high potential. Seeing as we're paying for this, thickened threads make them do more damage. Mm, I like that. Let's go for thickened threads. So extra stacks of poison, that would mean it does 30 originally, it already does 35. 
this would make it 40, which then potentially get doubled. Okay, an uncommon augment and a rare augment. Yeah, let's keep augmenting everything. Getting more on the threads, I think, would be very nice. Hey, we have a treasure pot. So, poison dart. Ooh, poison dart doesn't work quite the way I thought it would. I thought it was going to affect everyone in the area, but it's in the area area. Which is fine, just different to what I thought. So it becomes less useful directly, I think. Okay, well before we move on, let's hit you. Hit you. If we come up here, we can hit both of these at the same time. That gives us the controlled weaving. I can hit both of you with the with the poison. So they're both going to die from the 70 stacks of poison. It didn't crit, but wow, that is still a hell of a lot. We can stitch on you. get you killed before it becomes a question. So we just need to get out of this area. Mm, let's put some burn on that guy down the bottom. And yeah, we're not leaving the area because I messed that up. Shield! <laughs> he did die though. So there's that at least. You two. If I come down here, can I get all three? Not quite, but I can get those two. That's a pretty good jinx. But we can do a bit more that way. the rope burn and then I can oh it's just out of range isn't it well we're gonna have to kill this one if we get a bit closer we can probably kill him in one go there we go Gives us more dread for next turn, which is probably a smart move. Okay, threads around the room. Let's detach so we get the rope burn. Smack, smack. If I hit both of you, that will be controlled weaving, which gives us more willpower, and we're good. Okay. Binding augment. Lengthy threads, further range, and wider area. That is good. I will have that. And up here... Potent stitch could be cool. Three stacks of dreads straight after using Jinx is also cool. Let's go for the preserving Jinx. 
Hey, there's the vestigial shrine. So we're going to get the last of the story bits. We could also potentially burn maybe the shadow shroud. Don't like taking damage. You know what? I don't think we need to burn anything at this point. You place your hand upon the podium, and your quill begins to pulse. In your hand appears a torn page with fading ink. A story fragment, now yours. Cool. That is the story fragments, all of them done. Okay, so what could we burn? I do like glass cannon. Let's burn sea trickle. That'll give us flat extra will. And we just don't don't get the 25% chance. Which is fine. I'm fine with that. Okay, before we go spending our money, let's have a look and see what's in here. We're gaining crit, gain three structure shattered will. Let's re-roll that. Another pile of tiles. It's a no-brainer. It is just so good, I would not turn it down. 63 damage to the nearest enemy because of the uh, plus to physical damage we've got. Ooh, quick and jinx. That's kind of cool, but I think we could do better. Let's re-roll. Mm. Plus 10 damage per stack of dread does make it quite a bit stronger, but we've got the glyphs, so we may as well re-roll. We can do one more. Okay, none of them are particularly amazing. Quick and Stitch would be very good. Reducing its base cooldown means we could do it every single turn. Feels a little bit disappointing, but uh, let's push on for the Guardian battle. Uh, so, as a reminder, when defeating Guardians or dangerous minions, we gain crit chance or crit damage. Uh, so far, we've been gaining crit damage. So, Nim the Lost. It'll hit you. Hit you, that gives the control weaving. Let's get Poison Dart on you. Deal damage to Nim the Lost in a single action. Uh, it is dangerous to remain in here. Stitching you isn't going to do much. But we could... We could rope burn and stitch you to do more damage at the same time. We could do another rope burn. Okay. I think that's not bad. Let's get out of the area. 70 stacks of poison. 19 stacks of burn. Thread those, that gives us even more damage. You know what, let's let's do rope burn, detach the threads to maximize our omni damage for this turn. Hit you, we can grab this. So we could do another rope burn to detach. Do a stitch. We could do a decent jinx on him, but it's not. Oh. 
that's not quite going to be enough to push him in. If we drink this, we could hit him with tether one more time. And that pushes him into phase shift. Which I think is the smart move. Okay, let's make everyone vulnerable. That would allow us to kill them directly. Which gives us control. Weaving, hit you with poison. Let's get the rope burn. Let's re tether you. More rope burn. Re tether you with a stitch. And then to relative safety. You two. Hit you two. Right, let's detach. Hit you. Grab that. Let's do a rope burn. Oh, actually, if we get closer to him. Ah, uh, we'll end up killing this guy. No matter which way we do it. Okay, in that case we may as well move closer to him and use him. Stitch you up. It's going to be painful. But he should kill himself this turn. And then we can heal up. So yeah. Definitely flying a bit close to the sun there. Ooh, ascending stitch. Tangle looks amazing. Splice could also be very good for building up Omni damage. It's a lot of damage. I think we'll go with Splice. And over here, we don't have many choices because we've got so many augments in place. Uh, let's go for Discounted Jinx. That's going to significantly help us out. Yeah, the... The bounty of sentient beings is just giving us crit damage, not crit chance. So when we crit, we're going to do a lot, but we're just not critting frequently. Hi, everyone. Right. I think we, we want to get a tether. be really good to get both of you at the same time. That is a lot of damage that would do. Uh, let's do rope burn. Improve our omni damage. Almost more damage. Almost more. Pretty effective, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say, I, I like what we've got going on. Okay, we've gotta hit you both. 
Then detach. And then hit you both again. Then we may as well splice you, which will detach it at the same time. Splice you again, which will sew it up and then detach. Two over there. Two in there. Let's get a rope burn to detach it. Two up and two up. Yeah, it's a much smaller area, but that's fine. I, I think what we've got is really, really quite nice. Extra damage per stack of dread. <clears throat> oh. Titan Constrict is not bad, actually. Seeing as we're using Rope Burn quite a lot. Uh, I'm going to leave these here for the moment because we've got Carver's Refuge coming up. I will take a look at them. I'm going to turn on movement, buying these gain full cost discount. Eh. It's not amazing. We could burn it. Could potentially burn Bone Calcifier as well, which would improve our physical damage. Oh my god, Rope Burn's actually shot up. That's not plus 60 damage. It was doing 20 damage before, now it's doing 176. That must be a mistake. Uh, we can also re-roll these, but we'll save the money for Carver's Refuge. Uh, Thaumaturg and Molten. Don't really need either of those. Yeah, so none of these are amazing. But Faulty Flask is actually pretty good if we burn something else that we're not using. Okay, let's uh, let's see what Carver's Refuge looks like. So yeah, there is definitely a thing we can we can use for burning stuff. Extra damage to hmm. Don't really want to burn the Sovereign's flag. Okay, in that case, we'll uh, we'll do what we can down here. None of these are amazing for burning. Let's re-roll. Okay, map. Harbinger's trophy would give us something. So we'll temporarily swap out the token of regret. We'll come back and grab that in just a second. Now, can we still use this, or is it a one and done? No, we can still use it. Okay. So we could get another striker and really max out our physical damage. go back and grab our token of regret again. The minus 15 max hit point does feel like a lot, I'm not going to lie. But I think we're doing alright. I think we're doing alright. Hey birdie! Okay, start off by getting some threads in. Ooh, actually, we kind of need to get you killed. Let's 
So let's get him killed and use it as an opportunity to boost our Omni damage a little. And we'll get you hit with Control Weaving, we'll get some poison on you. Get a big hit, re-thread you. There's no point doing rope burn, but we can do some damage at least. If I move out of the air, I'm still going to take four damage, so yeah, kill him. And then we'll just step out. It's going to leave the mushroom there for us, which is handy. And it builds up the stacks of dread, which also handy. Okay, rope burn. Splice. Thread him. More rope burn. So we do still have a way of getting out of this area, but putting him into phase shift is a safer option. Okay, got to get this guy killed. You know what, let's, let's splice him. Let's just splice him to death. That does so much damage, oh my word. So we're just building up our Omni damage where we can right now. Can't actually hit Cinder at all. So if we just get you out the area. Oh, you're going to hit us, are you? Oh, because of the blasted pots. Right, well, let's... Let's do that. Okay, now you're on the ground. I got some things to say. Lots of poison, lots of dazed. That would do quite a bit of damage, but... We can get more with our rope burn. That's almost going to put it into phase shift. Okay, that puts it in phase shift. We need one of these. I kind of need to be in underneath where Cinder is in order to grab that mushroom. Maybe I can go around this way now. Oh, I feel like that's just in range. There we go. That's fine. I don't like wasting points, but... Oh, we're going to take damage from the cinder pox. Did we not thread him? There we go. We have now. Grab that orb. There we go. More rope burn improves our damage even more. And a splice to finish him off. Not bad. 35 health feels very dangerous. Like, incredibly dangerous. Lots of quillings. 
we actually used our potions, although I think we kind of needed to a couple of times during that. There we go. So if we go back to our victory board, we're going to run with the Constrict Ascension Rope Burn. It's the only thing we got that time, but it is still something... Yeah, some of these are going to be very specific. Go keep it with a Mythos 6 Vestige set and Lightning Storm. Wow. Verdant Seed, Verdant Sprout, and Verdant Blossom. Okay, so, yeah. There's a lot of themed ones in there. And in fact, I should go back to our season and collect our rewards. Let's do that quickly. Amulet of Floral Transportation. Flamio. And another Trinket Key. And then a Cosmetic. Well, before we finish, I seem to have exhausted what little knowledge I have of the whereabouts of this opal slab, Needless. There is one more story, though, that may provide some answers. Tell me more. A Guide to Fishing for Friendship. The title is rather on the nose, unfortunately. And the book is certainly not where you'd expect to find such an artifact as the opal slab. But I have my reasons for suspecting. And you don't care to elaborate. Reasons not meant for you. Oh, of ears, course. Needless. You're to anchor the story, nothing more. And even that should require more haste than you appear to possess at present. Hurry along, Needless. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll get to it when we get to it. In the meantime. Wow, you found all those fragments? I mean, not that I didn't think you could. It's just. So a box of truffles is a new vestige I don't we can really get. I know what to do next. I mean. I know these go into the bindery. That's the whole point of the giant wheel, right? It's just, well, not as simple as putting them into a slot and calling it a day. Sorry, I really do wish I knew more, but I think I might know someone who does. You just have to promise me you won't tell the gatekeeper. He's always a bit touchy when it comes to her. You'll need to find the gardener. Okay. She'll know what to do next. She might just need a bit of, uh, Convincing. We can always go back to the garden's oh, edge. Ink, save me once he finds out. Ooh, hello. That is the book. Your cruel cool guides you towards a pile of old journals and notebooks haphazardly thrown into shelves. Among them, you find a velvet covered notebook, spattered with salt water splotches and sopping wet. Embroidered in gold thread in the center is a single letter, N. On the first damp page, beneath many crossed out attempts at title, words are scrawled, A Guide to Fishing for Friendship. Okay, we can uh, put that up here. You pull out the notebook and wipe it across your clothing to dry it off, unsure if the water will cause the bindery to react in some unfortunate way. But the notebook continues to leak, as if it was just pulled from the sea, and you only succeed in making yourself cold. So you place the soaking book inside the bindery, and the cage clamps shut. Wringing water from the pages with a sloppy squidge. Okay, well, we have one more person to talk to. Hey, Needless. Got word from the counsellor you might be helping with some secret plans of hers. Hmm, something to do with story fragments? Well, just wanted to say we all trust that the Inkbound is doing good for us here. But that doesn't mean a little extra help won't hurt. Even if it is of the more clandestine variety. And since Counselor's got it pinned, she'll fail on this. I appreciate you doing your best to prove her wrong. Okay, Needless? Well, we can we can definitely help out where we can. Uh, and with that, I think that's a good point to finish this episode off. Making progress on some of the quests. We've got plenty more to be doing, though. Thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for some more Inkbound. See you soon.